Okay, so the last time we fought against Rohan, we took out Adorn. This is now under our control. We're going to actually need to repair the walls very quickly. Um, we lost quite a few men, almost 800 men. I think the total was... Um, How may I serve? Um, not sure. Orders. I don't remember, actually. Okay, and uh, a lot of you... Uh, told me to merge units How so that's I what serve? I just did I want to say thank you How for that I because I didn't know about that that's a very helpful tool so um, we're down to two Orders. we actually lost about five How units in that battle so we're down to two Southron warbands we have three pikemen left some dismounted serpent card we have a uh, we have a pretty good amount of cavalry which actually I should have supplemented with maybe some more pikemen because um you're really just never gonna have superior cav to Rohan they are just really good so I mean oh well let's go ahead and end the turn we'll see what happens ooh I didn't expect that Our foes dare to besiege gonna us lay siege to Holdred I'll probably so lose that because um it looks like that army he's got going there has mostly infantry, I think. I might have to pull out of Adorn and face him in the field. That's a very interesting turn on of, of events. I thought for sure he would come back to uh, grab Adorn. Okay, our profits were up at least. Okay, Adorn has been repaired so if it is besieged they can't just walk through the gates I thought Rohan would be a lot weaker than they are who's this guy is that what you want that's our allies he my, man he better not screw with me we actually have a pretty decent army in here it will be an um, honor defeating you it looks like we've got some cav he only has a few units of crappy calves so Yes, noble orders. We're actually gonna send How may I serve? Orders. A lot of men against him, How I may think. I serve? How may I serve? Orders. Yes. That should be enough to guard my walls. First life. This will be an honorable battle. Yes it will. An honor to it serve. will indeed be an honorable battle. Let's see if we can up the tax rate. Oh no, this is a castle, so we can't. That sucks, I hate that. Alrighty, put this guy on a boat and uh, we'll start heading these guys up north along the coastline. They got quite a few turns before they make it there, but uh, I'm sure when they do make it there it'll be worth it. So we're actually going to end the turn again. And he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. So I'm actually going to see if I can retreat from this battle, but yeah, I figured he would follow me. Retreat! Tomorrow's journey awaits. Okay, so this should be a very interesting battle. Let's go see. Check out his army. He's got archers. He's got cav. He has a general. Not one of us shall fail I think if I can keep my battle. cavalry safe, and um, my pikemen should be pretty decent at holding out, like holding a wall. I might have to make a noob triangle with my pikemen just so I don't lose my entire army. Let's see here. We've got a hill, so that's definitely helpful. I'm, of course, going to place my men upon this hill. And a sort of three-pronged formation here. Now, this isn't a complete noob circle, so... Don't tell me it's a noob circle. <laughs> Besides, I really I really don't have a choice. I am completely outnumbered. All I can hope for is that my cav can outmatch what little cav he has. And also hope that I don't get flanked. Let's go ahead and check out what he's got on the flanks. He's got his scouts on the flank, so I think I'm going to try and hit those guys first. This is going to be a tough battle for sure. It's going to take all of my skill to win it if I can win it. 
Which I think I can. I'm pretty confident about this battle. I think I can win it. I'm trying to see where he's going. I'm going to charge his cav now while they're away from the rest of his army. If I can at least just get a little charge on them. Well, actually, where are they at? No, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. I'm going to take these guys over here so that when we do actually charge them, we'll also have some flanking. Those are missile cav and light cav. So, definitely going to want to send a flanking force around. It looks like we might actually be able to get our charge off on these guys. They haven't moved. They're not moving. Okay, they've opened fire, but it looks like we're going to get our charge off. Okay, so our cav are now wrapped up. Okay. I think we're we're pretty much going to destroy his cav. My men will listen. <laughs> charge when I tell you to charge, damn it. Okay. It looks like he's going straight for my infantry. He's not really paying attention to me over here decimating his cavalry. It's kind of interesting. Well, here comes his general. Let's see if he can intercept that charge. Probably not. Oh yeah, we actually did manage to stop that charge, which is pretty interesting. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a counter charge. Okay, we've got these Rittermark skirmishers down to 30 men. I really want to kill his general. That's my main concern. So we're going to go after him. I'm not too worried about that missile cav, to be completely honest. Try and pull my men out of there real quick and get some charges on these bodyguards. Come on, boys. I know you can get them. The scouts came back. Uh-oh. Looks like we got some Rittermark Axemen. Okay. I need my Cav to go help with the Archer problem here. Crap. Why are my Spearmen like that? Damn. I need that hole to be plugged. Oh, I let my Serpent Guard get charged, but those are just light calves, so I should be able to beat them back pretty easy. Um... I actually want to charge right into these archers if I can. Try and avoid all these heavy infantry units. Just concentrate on these archers. Come on boys, I need you to hold the line. Well, we did get caught up on these stupid swordsmen, which is not what I want. We also got caught up on these axemen. Come on, guys. I need you to listen to what I'm saying. This battle, it's extremely important. I'm going to go ahead and flank with these serpent guard. need to get some hammer and anvil strikes as soon as I can. There we go. Now we've broken free. Nice. That was a nice charge. Let's go ahead and charge these archers now. No, you idiots. I told you to go over here. These guys aren't even listening to me at all. 
And these pikemen are extremely effective at holding the line. I'll give them that. Forgot to put them in guard mode, though. I thought they were automatically in guard mode, though. That's why I didn't. Alright, before I lose all my cav, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. I don't want to lose my general. Yeah, see, he just wants to chase my cab around, which is fine. I actually don't want those guys to move at all. Just need them to hold the line. Stupid skirmishers are still alive. I wonder where exactly his, there's his general. He only has six bodyguards left. I also need to find the archers, which are over here. So let's see if we can sneak pack past these units and get some charges off on the archers. I actually need my pikemen to move up right there. I changed my mind. I need them to charge these Rittermark Axemen right here. Ooh, my general's entire bodyguard unit died. That kind of sucks. Let's watch this charge right in the back. Look at that. Ooh, that was a nice one too. Only half the enemy force and we remains. killed half of them. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Oh, they will. They'll lose their will to fight. Don't you worry. See how we're doing over here. Spearman. Looks like we're holding out pretty good. Hopefully we're just running right through these archers. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out, try and get some uh, better cav charges going. There's his general right there. Let's see if we can take him out. That would be ideal. Okay, I think those axemen are about to rout. Oh no! Our general died. And allowed himself to be slain in battle! We need to kill his general. Charge his general. Okay, these guys are these guys are free. Where'd his general go? I know he's here somewhere. There we go. Enemy's general lies dead. Now his men can sense their doom upon them. Killed the enemy general. Oh, oh, looks like we have a mass route going on here. Awesome. For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines awesome. upon us. Pray this is a portent of a victory. I hope so. It'd be awesome if we could win this battle. What do we got here? Still got some skirmishers running around. I'm gonna try and run these guys down. I actually don't want any of them to escape. 
or at least as very few as possible. Oh, those guys are gonna route. Awesome. Cool, like awesome of guys, we've won the Drive battle, that's the really, battle. actually, I'm really proud of that actually, to be honest with you, because I thought that was for sure a defeat. So, we lost our general, but that's okay, we do have two more generals, so someone else will just have to take over. Yeah, we're probably not going to catch any of those units. We'll go ahead and quit the battle now. 360 lost for 1,600 killed. I will take that any day. That was a very decisive and important victory for our troops in the Rohirrim territory. Um... We're gonna execute them. What else would we do with them? Lord Holdwine, I see you north of my provinces. Yeah, so I'd say pikemen are my best weapon against um, Ga Rohan. I mean, their infantry couldn't even match up with my pikemen, so that's that's very good. I'll have to retrain some of those. New mission. Wait, what was that? Reinforce region. Buy at least four units. Dude, I can't afford that right now. I can't even recruit anything there. And that is not a frontier to our enemies. The run holds that entire... Council's really dumb sometimes. <laughs> we got trade increase and retinue expansion on our generals from that last battle. Which is really great. I'm glad to hear that. We can yes, send these guys back to Adorn. Hopefully, now we can't retrain them. But that's because we need a barracks. So I think I'm gonna buy a barracks. And we'll end the turn. Our Corsair ships move on their own. And they still have quite a few turns before they're ready for action. It looks like Rohan didn't do anything. Which is good. I don't really want to be bothered with Rohan's crap right now. Erebor is still holding out. Of course, they do have Dale down there, and uh, which is their allies to help them out. Okay, we are bringing in about 2,000 gold coins a turn. That's good. We didn't actually make it to the negative, which I'm very happy about. And actually, can I recruit here? No, I cannot. Alright. I need to recruit some pikemen at Dilemroth, if I can. No, you know what? You guys don't get pikemen either. So I guess pikemen is just an umbar thing. I'm gonna get rid of these archers. I'm gonna hire two units of pikemen. They only take two turns, and then we'll, uh, we'll send them north eventually. Orders. Orders. Splitting the fleet. Orders. Yeah, I forgot Orders. to actually keep one of my Corsair ships open for, uh, ferrying armies and whatnot fair. across the sea. Orders. So we'll have to make sure we do that. Let us settle matters yeah, on I really want to kill that battle. guy, but I just don't have the resources at the moment um let me see here I'll keep those guys I'm gonna get rid of those guys they have some pretty expensive upkeep anyways I don't think we need that much of a garrison right there I could be wrong but for now we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of them and hopefully increase our profits a little bit and also, I hope our barracks is built in time for us to retrain our pikemen. So that Gondor 
I mean, I'm sorry. I keep saying Gondor. Rohan does not attack us without us being ready. I don't care if they attack us, I just don't want a surprise attack. <laughs> Those make me sad. No, I don't want you. I have too many generals. This daughter of royal blood is now unlikely to marry. Oh, oops. I screwed up, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Coming of age. Man, these guys are just non-stop. Yes, orders. We did get some pikemen uh, recruited. Um, I could recruit some more Muma kill, but um, oops, actually didn't mean to recruit that guy. I really just don't have the money for Muma kill. I know you guys wanted to see Muma kill, but they are just so darn expensive. And these pikemen are particularly effective in com uh, combined with Noble one. cavalry and heavy infantry. Your men are out of sight. An honor to serve. Go to watchtower right there in Setting case Gondor decides to sneak around. Oops. Okay. And another turn. I bet Gondor's pissed they lost that last battle. They thought for sure they were gonna win. So the one one of the major pieces of advice I want to give you guys, and you should know this if you uh, have studied history at all, is just because the numbers are against you doesn't mean you'll lose. Um, as you saw in the last battle, with patience and good tactics, you can win nine times out of ten. Nice. Nice. We're doing good now. Our economy is on the recovery from that little bump we had. We cannot some more sell pikemen. Them. I'll get some more of these cheap warband units too. I mean, they're, you know, they're cheap, but they're also Corsair. effective. Corsair. They're the good for storming cities. Tomorrow. A good expendable unit to storm a city with. Yes. No Actually, master. is there a general? Down? Yes, there is. That's what I thought. Aha. I have nothing I'm watching to you, say to you, sir. Scum. I know exactly what you're going for. And I don't like it. Hmm. I know what he's trying to do. At least I think I know what he's trying to do. I'm pretty certain I know. Build a watchtower right there. That's a very important watchtower. Setting a watch here. I don't think we need that serpent guard there. Oops, they don't like that though. We'll get some spearmen. And we'll build them a brothel. I mean, what's not to love about a brothel, right? Let's turn this to high tax rate. But we'll give them a brothel too. And over here we're gonna build a port. Because I want some more money. Actually didn't see what Rohan did if he did anything. Well, I would say Erebor is pretty much just a failed invasion, so so much for that. I'm betting that the dwarves are allied with most of the good factions though, so it's good that they're busy. All right, cool. actually what I'll do here is we'll take these guys off the recruitment queue because I can just recruit them in some of my northern Gondorian territories they're nice and cheap and whatnot like the weary camel now we must rest this dude's always talking about weary camels I swear it's the only thing he knows how to say you need to go back to Pen yes, of Galen Ooh, we can turn the tax rate way up here. And the population is still growing, so that's good. I lost track of that Gondor army, and I don't... Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Was that your best shot? That's kind of what I was afraid of, so... 
We're gonna have to take our same army. I'm gonna add a spearman unit to that though. How may I serve? And we're gonna have to go down here and deal with this guy. I am here only to fight things, not to bant Looks like, yeah, he's got some good heavy cav. Check our missions again. Huh. I really, really need to reinforce that, um... Um, what am I trying to say? The, uh, region up there. Really badly. I hope he doesn't lay siege. That's what he's doing. Hopefully it's, um, an actual siege, though, and not, like, a, a one-turn deal where he has catapults. Yeah, okay, good. Our foes dare to besiege us. When they strike, so okay. will we. So we are for sure going to have to take out that threat so we don't lose that town. And actually I need to check how many more we need to win the campaign. Should be like eight, I believe. Besieged, yes I know. Mission failed, I know. So the Dark Lord's probably getting pissed at us. No, he still loves us. You know, I could actually have these Corsairs land and help out, but uh, I don't think so. Corset. They need to do some raiding. Noble one. At oh once. man, they took this pikeman unit down to 19. I didn't even realize that. These two didn't lose any. They didn't lose Orders. any men. That's amazing. How may I serve? And those are good hardy units. We do have one turn left for our barracks, so that's definitely a good thing. Orders. Okay, I'm trying to think what would be the best way to get these guys up there quickly. And I don't think our that's it. Although fair. the walk from up here would take just as long. Like yeah, I don't friend. know. I'm not sure. I'm actually, I want to check on things over here. I hope Run has held out okay. I know Mordor is doing just fine. They're the ones that helped me take out Gondor. So they should be alright. Hmm. I'm gonna have to turn the tax rate down so these people don't get pissed. Retrain. We're still bringing in enough. And these guys are so pissed off, I don't know why. We're gonna have to put them on low tax rate, I guess. That's gonna take our profits down a little bit. Umbar. I think we can go. No, we can't go back to very high. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait on these pikemen, Order. I guess. It's really about all we can do. The wind and of course, tomorrow. we're going to have to fight this guy. Laying siege. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Trying to shot? see what his army is. So he's only got three units of heavy cavalry. He's got militia, some scouts, some swordsmen. So he has a lot of militia. Okay. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, in the next episode, you will definitely see us rake the siege and hopefully defeat and lay waste to another Gondorian army. We'll just have to see what happens. Make sure you tune in next time and rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.